Hello guys, today I would like to show you my project because I'm learning how to use I2C bus to drive an LCD on the Node MCU. This is our Node MCU and this is our LCD with included I2C adapter on it. So basically that's a two-wire set, except of course power and ground. So as you can see, we've got here a voltage shifter, logic converter, because the node MCU operates on 3.3 volt and we are required to have a 5 volt on the LCD side you have to add a resistor around 10k on the output enable and VCC because if you do not have this it won't work and I spent some time trying to figure out why this is not working I was putting an oscilloscope checking if there are the data and that was the case why it isn't working I can find this on any website so that's how it looks like and on the node MCU I'm just using two pins the digital one and the digital two they are made on the seal screen but they are not corresponding the Arduino pins so the, that's how it looks like so from the node MCU into the voltage shifter and that's how it looks like that's the converter I'm using as you can see on the description there is basically nothing about how to wire this up so you have to make sure that to add the resistor and that's how the sketch looks like I have to check do I have okay I'm going to recompile this as you can see we got a warning and this lib is not designed for node MCU but as you can see it's working perfect so it's compiling it's uploading that's how looks the source code and we've got it running so that's okay and the name of the library I'm going to show you I'm going to type going at the liquid and the name this one liquid crystal I square C out of box working perfect the only thing you have to change is to add the right address of the i square c bus and you have to find it out by downloading a sketch called i square c bus scanner and it's going to tell you what id it is because i have a different one that looks the same but have different address so then they might look similar but they might have different address and here you can change the address if you have a couple of LCDs so there is no problem so that's how it looks like as you can see it's working perfect so I really recommend you this setup thank you for watching and bye bye